some takeaways this week. While there's still good activity and buyers who are out there are real, there is simply not enough inventory to choose from. And buyers who are looking to get into the market are up against lots of competition, which is nothing new. We've been talking about that for weeks, particularly at entry level price points. Regarding multiple offers, how do you know where to begin choosing an offer price? We were trying to make mathematical sense of things. One rule of thumb that was being kicked around was with five or more offers, the sales price you can figure will likely to reach around 10% over the list price. 10 offers, maybe you'll see around 20% over the list price. And 20 offers, we're looking at 30% or over, even more perhaps. Advice is to focus on the fair market value, which is one of the areas a good buyer's agent can be of significant value to you. There's an important factor to emphasize. There are some listing agents who deliberately price their listings on the low end of the value range. Thereby, when the offers come in and the end result is a high percentage over the list price, it is important to look at the list price to see if it started at an artificial point. Speaking of fair market value, lender news is that many sales over the past couple of weeks are having a hard time appraising as there are no comparable sales for the appraisers to point to to justify the overbid sales price. Buyers must be careful to have a backup plan in place should this occur and there's no appraisal contingency in place and it's a tricky situation because while the appraisal contingency is there to protect a buyer from such a situation, in a highly competitive marketplace such as ours, where multiple buyers are competing for the same property, an offer that is saddled with a contingency can be trumped by maybe even a lower priced offer that is cleaner with a faster close of escrow, therefore being more of a surefire option for a seller to accept. Lots to go over. I'm working on some videos that will explain the immense value buyers agents bring to the table, not only to their buyer clients, but also to the sellers and their agents. Stay tuned. Join me again to check the pulse of our crazy Bay Area marketplace right here on Real Time Real Estate Silicon Valley.